To send alerts to TradeLab, we first need to create an alert template. Alert templates tell TradeLab what an alert looks like. That way, when you're building strategies in the builder, we can help you by showing you all the possible data coming from the alert. A trade alert has three main parts. When it should fire, what message it, sh it should send, and where it should send that message. Each alert template has its own webhook URL. You can copy and paste this into the alert on TradingView or elsewhere. One common question is, what information do I put in the alert message? If you already have an example of your alert because you made it by hand, or it's being sent from somewhere else, you can use this button, Paste Alert Message, to paste your alert message into TradeLab and extract the fields. If you do not know what your alert looks like, you can use this button to have TradeLab listen for an alert and extract the fields by capturing an alert for you. You can also import an alert that someone else has previously exported from TradeLab. If you do not already have alerts, TradeLab can help you make them. Clicking on the Build button will open up the Alert Builder. An alert message can hold multiple pieces of data. We call these fields. Each field has a name and a type. There are three different types of fields. Fields can be words and letters, we call these strings. They can also be numbers or true and false. The Alert Builder lets you make your own fields, and you can have as many fields in an alert as you want. This builder is helping us do two things at once. Creating alerts and creating an alert template. An alert template is different than an alert. Alert templates are just a collection of fields. Multiple alerts that have the same fields can use the same alert template. Here, in this builder, I can create two different alerts using the same fields. One alert will have a buy, and another alert will have type sell. So I can copy this, I can hop over to trade, trading view, and paste in this message and name this buy alert. Create. And now I have a buy alert. I can then use this same alert template to create a sell alert by simply changing the value of sell right here. And now I have a different message. I would use my same webhook, create a new alert, make sure I have the same webhook, and then use this different message for my second alert. And I can call this sell alert. Hit create, and I now have a buy and sell alert. If you are using TradingView, you also have the option to use TradingView plots. This is a feature built into TradingView that allows you to send data from your indicator to TradeLab. In TradingView, we can look at an indicator settings by clicking the setting button and under the style tab we can see that this RSI indicator has multiple pieces of information. Trading view calls these plots. What we want to do is have trading view send us the actual number for this smooth RSI value. To do this we'll go back to trade lab and we'll create a new field called smooth RSI and we'll set it to a number and then we'll select TV plot. Now as a trading view plot we saw that this had the name smooth space RSI. So what we're going to do is target it by name and we'll type in smooth with a space capital RSI. And now we can see that our example message includes the smooth RSI plot. If we copy this and paste it into a new alert, TradingView will now send us our smooth RSI value. We now know what alert templates are, 
how we can use them to receive multiple alerts, and how to build one ourselves. If you have any more questions, feel free to join us on Discord. Thanks for watching, and subscribe for more updates.